Hi, I'm Jeb Blunt, author of Fanatical Prospecting and Sales EQ, and this is a Sales Gravy Quick Tip. I lecture down at the University of Central Florida. The business school there uses some of my books and material. And the last time I was down there, I caught wind of this study that these, um, these social behaviorists were doing around optimism and pessimism. And what they wanted to do were find out what these core traits, these core human behavior traits are of pessimists and what the, what the core human traits are of optimists. And so they went all over the, the country surveying and finding people and interviewing people and finally they decided to, to bring some subjects back to the campus at University of Central Florida and, and bring them in and observe them in some situations. And they settled on the most optimistic person they could find and the most pessimistic person they could find, two five-year-old boys. They had these, these rooms that had these one-way mirrors, right? So they had a room and the, so the researchers could look in. And in one of the rooms, they went out to a store and they went and got every kind of toy that a five-year-old would want. I mean, video games, action figures, everything you might think. In the other room, they sent a truck down to a local stable and they filled it up with horse manure and they filled that room up with horse manure. They put the boys in the room and then they went over there to, to make their observations. The, the first room, the, the researchers all lined up in front of it, all hushed. They had the clipboards out there, all academic and everything, no, no offense. And they, they, had, uh, they, they were taking notes and the, they, they observed that the first five-year-old boy was sitting down in the middle of all the toys and, and, and just as soon as he quit playing with a few of them said, you know, I'm bored. And they don't even have the right toys in here. And these video games stink. I don't like them. There's nobody here to play with. And all the action figures, they're not the action figures that I like. I like these other superheroes. I just want to go home. I want my mama. And when they got tired of watching this entitled little brat whine, they went over to the, to the other room. And, and what they saw shocked them. They, they literally had to step back for a moment and catch their breath because when they they peered into the window what they saw was manure flying everywhere and this child was right there in the middle of this big old pile of manure I mean moving manure as fast as they could manure was flying in the air it looked like a crazy man in there digging in his manure they didn't know what was going on so one of them snuck around on the side of it and knocked on the door and stuck his head in and said and said son the kid was just moving he says son son and the, the kid stopped and he turned around and he was working so hard, he, he was covered in sweat. So manure was all over him. He looked like a wild man. He said, said, son, what in the world are you doing? And the little boy turned around and said, sir, I, I said, I'd love to talk to you, but I don't have time right now. Look at all this manure. There's got to be a pony in here somewhere. I love that story. See, that story reminds me that, that optimism is a core trait of winners. The majority of people out there in the world, you know, they're out there like a bunch of dogs fighting over the same old bone. I mean, nipping at each other, howling at each other, growling at each other, trying to get their little peace. Mediocre people, they spend their days protecting what they have. They work in jobs they hate, waiting for someday win. Mediocre people spend so much time worrying about where they are that they never, ever focus on where they want to be. Then my advice to you is simple. I want you to go out there in the world and I want you to tell all those mediocre people that they can keep that bone, that you have your sight set on something bigger. I, I don't want you to get too comfortable where you are. Don't rest too long on this mountaintop. Because, because here's the thing. You got big things to do. You got to keep on climbing. And the thing about climbing is when you start climbing, you gain this amazing clarity of just what is possible for you in your life. Thank you for joining me for the Sales Gravy Quick Tip. Go to goals.salesgravy.com. That's goals.salesgravy.com to get access to my online course on goal planning.